Hi again. Let's continue our discussion here of the to-do app and uh, the table view. So, uh, you know, in the last video, I, I made this app. Um, it's pretty simple. You know, it's got a bunch of, you know, items in this array here. And, uh, you know, they're displayed in the cells in our table view. So we can see all the letters here in the cells, right? So that works okay. But uh, what I want to do is I want to have more information in the cell. You know, every cell might want to have a picture. It might want to have, you know, a subtitle, you know, and other information. And if I use an array like this, you know, I've got one item to work with. I've got this single string for each row, okay? So what am I going to do? Well, probably the best thing for us is to make each to-do item its own class and then we can assign you know properties to that class and then we can you know the properties can be displayed down here in various ways and then it also allows us to extend the class or you know build on that class later right we can add other features to it in an easy in an easy way right so how are we going to make that happen so every to do item should be its own object right and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a brand new Swift file. So what I'll do is I'll choose, you know, File New, File New File. And I'm up here in iOS Source, and I'll choose, you know, Swift File. Okay. And I'm going to name this file To Do Item. Okay. And that'll be a, you know, it'll be a To Do Item class. Okay. So I'll choose To Do Item, and I'll save it into my folder here. And there it is now in my, you know, my workspace here. And now in the new to-do item, I'm going to start typing class, and it'll give me the syntax for the basic Swift class. Okay, so I'll choose that. And then I'll name the class, and this is like, you know, you know very common is, you know, the best practice here is to name the class with the name of the file. They don't actually have to match. Okay, but they should match, otherwise it'll, you're, you know, you're, your, um, your organization is going to be a little bit confusing, right? So here's my to-do item class. And, you know, the class code needs to go between the curly brackets here, and this is the name of our class, okay? So what I want to do is I want to add a couple variables. So maybe every to-do item has a name, and I'll just set that to a string. And then... Um, Maybe every to-do item has a, a note, okay? And I'll set that to a string, too. So maybe this will be the, um, the title, and this will be the subtitle or the right detail or detail text, right? And maybe we want to add some other features here. You know, every to-do item, item could have a date and, you know, also a picture or a category or, you know, all sorts of stuff. I'm just going to add a um, completed property, which is going to be a Boolean, right? So I'll just set it to false, right? So, you know, as we add to-do items, um, you know, we can mark them completed true, and then we know that we did them, or completed false, and we know that they're they're incomplete, okay? So I'll, I'll save this and uh, make sure all those errors go away there, and it looks pretty good. Um, you know, we can add other features here later, and we will, but uh, for right now, this is pretty good. So what I want to do now is I want to add um, I want to add you know to do items here instead of the string, okay? So you know I, I want to define an array that can contain to do items. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll get rid of all of these these strings there, and I'll type in to do item, and we have to make sure this is the uppercase. T and uppercase I, it has to match the spelling of our class, right? And then what we're going to do is we're going to follow the square brackets with the parentheses like this. And this says create a new empty array that's configured to hold to do items. <coughs> okay? So, um, so there's our, our to do item there. And um, I'm going to ignore the phone. I don't know if you can hear the phone, but it's ringing, right? And now you can see I have an error here. And it's saying, like, hey, you know, you're asking for the to-do item at this index path. And 
this you know text property is expecting a string, but you know you're really giving it an a to do item, right? So we're gonna reconfigure this part a little bit. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say let, um, and I'll use lowercase to do this time. I'll just call it a to do, right? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say this to do is gonna be, you know, array bracket index path dot row. Okay, so so here I've gotten the to do at the particular index path. And then over here, maybe I want to display the name of the to do. So I'll type in to do dot name. Okay, and you can see, you know, Xcode gives me the code hints for my class that I've created because it can see that class and it knows which properties it has. Okay. And, you know, if we had a cell that used the detail text, um, what is it? Um, yeah, detail text label. I could say detail text label dot text equals, you know, to do dot note, right? Okay, so we could put that in there. Um, now I have a problem though because, you know, if I, you know, if I test this, I'm going to have zero to-do items because we created an empty, you know, array up here, right? So, you know, for testing right now, why don't we go down to uh, view did load, and what we'll do is in view did load down here, we'll make a couple to-do items and add them to our array, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, you know, var like t equals um, you know, to do, and this is going to be uppercase to do item, right? And then I can say t dot name equals, you know, hello, and t dot note equals, you know, world, and then we'll add this to do to the array. So we'll say array dot append item t. Right, so here we made a to-do item, we set its properties, name and note, and then we appended that to-do item to the array. And the array, you know, is configured to hold to-do items, so Swift it says that's fine, okay? So now we've got one item in our array, let's test it. Oh great, so that looks pretty good, but I'm not seeing the, the detail text, right? Well. Right now, we're using the default text um, or, or table view cell, right? So this is the default table view cell, and it's just got the title. So if I switch this to, let's say, the right detail, now it'll have the detail text. So we'll test it again. Oh, look, and there it says, you know, hello and then world is on the right side here, okay? So that looks pretty good. Um, so we're getting somewhere there, right? And uh, it needs a little more work. Um, and, uh, you know, what we really want to do is we want to improve the, um, the to-do class, because as we build these to-do items, maybe we want to be able to create a new to-do item and then set the name and note for it you know, like right when we create it, right? So let's do that. Let's go over to our to-do item. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add init. So init is the initializer for the class, okay? So when we create a new instance of this class, really what we're doing is we're calling the init function. And before I didn't use the init function, so there was sort of an empty init function that, you know, was invisible, but, you know, just not in use, right? Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a knit, and I'm going to give a knit, um, I'm going to give it a name property, and say colon is type string, and then comma, a note property, colon is also type string, okay? And what I want to do is I want to use this name, which is this name here is a parameter variable that belongs to the init function, and I want to assign it to the name property that belongs to the instance of the class, right? So the name property here belongs to our, our class or, you know, object instance, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to say self.name. 
and self name is the name up here and then we'll set it equal to name and without the self in front of it that's the name right here and actually you can see Xcode is showing me this little you know under dotted underline there to show me that these are really the same thing and when I when I do this one you can see that it's got this little dashed underline there and then it highlights the one up here not the one here right so let's say self note equals note okay and there we go now anytime that we call on our um, our class here we can initialize it with name and note okay let's go back to view controller we got one more step here so now in here you can see I've got an error and it's saying like hey you know what you're you're calling on to do item you're creating a new to do item but to do item requires arguments right so the arguments are the 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 parameters that we put here right these are called argument variables so name and note are two arguments that are required by init so let's go back here and let's say <clears throat> name is going to be actually here let's let's type this again if i if i type it you can see that it gives me the correct parameters there so i'm going to say name is you know hello and note is world like this and then there's no need to do this part anymore and we can just do these two lines and actually you know if we wanted to add a second one we could even shorten it even further we could say append and then inside here a new element why don't we just create the new to do item inside of you know inside the 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 parentheses here for append so maybe this new item will be um, foo and bar like that okay so uh, I'll test that again and now we should have two to do items so there's hello world and foo and bar right and you could create a few more if you want you know just copy this and uh, you know maybe I'll um, I'll copy that one and I'll paste it here like this and then you know uh, maybe we don't even need this first one anymore we can just do all of them like this right there so there's a few items there and then I can test it and so here we got five to do items right with their text and their detail text okay so there we go and now our to do's are, are arranged in objects and then anytime we want to you know modify the to do we can go over here and this code is just specific to the to-do objects and then this code is just specific to our, our table view okay